The big news of lacrosse central senior Kobe King being named Mr. Basketball for the state of Wisconsin by the Wisconsin Basketball Coaches Association. King becomes just the second from the Cooley region to earn the prestigious award. The other was Scott Christofferson in 2007. The day could end with even bigger news. Kobe King and Central taking on Cedarburg for the Division II state championship. Midway through the first half, King with the monster block. And up the floor, Lacrosse Central goes. Bailey Kale layup, and they lead 13 to 10. Cedarburg, they're going to try to slow down the pace of the game with minute plus possession. Central defense ends up causing the turnovers, and they turn them into points. Johnny Davis basket gives the Red Raiders a 21 18 halftime lead. There's those fans, they're happy about it. Second half, Kobe. They're going to come out red hot, scores the team's first 10 points of the period, and they go on to build a 10-point lead. Cedarburg comes back. Matthew Barber is going to splash the three-pointer. It's a 49-46 game. Then John Diener knocks down the triple. Bulldogs up 50-49, to their first lead since the opening minutes. Central and Kobe, they come right back. He drives, hits the floater. Red Raiders back on top, 51-50. Then under 40 seconds to play. King is going to get the hit the wide open. Kale for the easy hoop, 53-50. Diener, he's going to keep the Bulldogs' hopes alive with a late three. But his final heave at the buzzer will be just a bit off. Red Raiders are state champions. Central wins a thriller, 55-53. With more, here is News 8 Sports Director Greg Wabernick. Nobody thought it would be easy. Head coach Todd Fergett calling Cedarburg the toughest team he faced all season long. A year after losing in the state semifinals, the Red Raiders finished the job this go around, winning 55 53 and capturing the program's first state title since 1925. We've worked a long time for this, and uh, not only for us, but for our families too. Our offseason, uh, me and Bailey, we really pushed each other a lot along with the other uh, seniors. So we knew we wanted to be back down here, and we knew we didn't finish down here the way we wanted to last year. And we wanted to go out the right way as a group. I mean, we've been working for this day uh, uh, every day since like fifth grade. So we wanted to go out the right way, and we weren't going to let anything stop us. Future Wisconsin Badger Kobe King played close to unstoppable in the second half, where he scored 21 of his 28 points and shot 9 of 13 from the field. And when you got a guy who can score at will, you know, I think, I mean, what, what are you averaging this year, 28? If, if he wanted to, he could average 40. You know, Coach Ferg is always telling me, you know, you got to shoot more, and he just doesn't. He, he makes the right reads, like, at the end of the game when I cut and he passed it, he didn't have to pass it. So, um, yeah, when he, as we hit those three jumpers, I knew I came down, I passed it to him, and I just cut through. I said, you know. Do what you got to do, and, and, and he performed well. Kobe getting chance from the Central student section, like Mr. Basketball. You can't stop him, and this is his house. I did hear it. It was, it was a nice chant. Made me think of uh, Dwayne Wade, one of my favorite players. He always goes, this is my house. So, I mean, I, I can't say I didn't like it, but I had to focus on the game, too. Reporting with the Division II state champion Red Raiders, Greg Wavernick, News 8 Sports. Thanks, Greg. Let's head across the border. The Winona girls basketball team takes on Orono in the Class 3A state title game. The Windhawks trailed by 14 at halftime and were unable to come back, falling to the top seed 65-47. News 8's Colin Talbert has more from Minneapolis. So for the fourth time in school history, the Winona Windhawks battled for a championship trophy. They dug themselves, though, in the hole early on, trailed by 14 at halftime and as many as 23 in the second half. But this senior group battled like they've been doing their entire Windhawks career to the final horn, but just came up a little short. Obviously, it's a big deal to get to the state tournament, so we're really happy that we could pull that off. But to make it to the championship and just never be able to pull it off. It's a little bit tough. It'll be tough to get over. We'll always have that. We'll always have our friendships and this group of nine seniors changed Winona, I'd like to think. They love each other and that they care about each other and um, all of the things that they've been through uh, is just one of the things that I will always hold um, dear. Also, two of these senior leaders, Eden Nimblink and Danica Vagley, were named to the Class 3A All-Tournament team. Reporting from Williams Arena, Colin Telbert, News 8 Sports. Thanks, Colin. Time for a break. When we 